Theo Sultan here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So last video I did a collective shrine. So I you know I got my messages and whatnot, and then I kept mine secret and I asked, you know, the people in my Discord server to, to get their own messages, do their own scrying session, and they got theirs. So now I've collected about, let's see, one, two, three, about four different people's, you know, scryings that they've done. And so now I'm going to go through, read them, and then kind of compare notes with what I got. And uh, yeah, so I'm super excited to see how it matches up. And it, even if it doesn't match up, that just means they got a different side of the whole. So... Let's see what's let's see what's going on here. So the first person who submitted was uh, he goes by Glut in the G Discord group, and well, what he said was he was led by a um, a dragon god, and he was led into this forest, and there's a man far away, and when you try to get closer to this man, the distance grew, and then he told him that he's trying too hard to reach some of his goals. Okay, so that kind of resonates with one of the insights I did previously, where it was all about, you know, you know, casting your rod and waiting for the fish to come to you, right? It's not about casting, 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 casting. It's about, right, throw it out in the water and just wait and it's going to come, okay? So that highly resonates with the message I got and what he got as well, so that's really cool. So then he goes on to say, uh, you know, he saw one of his loved ones burning in this fire. Uh, and that he was he was supposed to put the fire out. He had to do something to help her. So I do see correlations um, with my insight that I did. My insight included, you know, a man inside of a coffin, and he was engulfed by flames in that coffin, right? So that's that's what I was getting. And so there is definitely this the correlation of fire being there strongly. Okay. So then we go on to Vimu, and Vimu was short but sweet. And, you know, she, she mentioned she was in some kind of cave, and she had these flames engulfing her body and her arms all around. Uh, there was these snakes present, swirling or curling around, right? Spiraling around her, and these wings sprouted from her back after this. So again, snakes, transformation, change, fire, change, alchemy, transformation. So there are definitely correlations between our insights that we're all getting. So, you know, again, so there's some big change coming up. There's a lot of internal transformation, right? A cave has to do with going within, right? You go within, you go within, you go within yourself, and you go within this cave, right? The introspection, think of like the hermit. Um, so she's hermitizing to enact this change and transformation where she will then sprout her wings and learn to fly or learn to soar with whatever she's trying to achieve. So that's really awesome. And this is uh, Cindy's. And um, hers was, she was in a dark forest holding a green torch in her left hand. So green, healing, earth, right? Left is receiving, so receiving that healing, that transformative healing, that, tra that transformative light, okay? And she, she was greeted by a tall, glowing woman. And this woman took her right hand and, and led her into this tunnel or, or this cave, right? Uh, and she showed her different pictures and symbols on the wall. Uh, the stories uh, were carved into the rocks, right? Um, and as she stared at these carvings, they started to morph into childhood memories and things of the past, right? Concerning family and whatnot. And this woman told her that her lesson was to learn to let go of the past, right? That's, that's powerful. That's a powerful le lesson. Um, and let's see here. She kept saying, "You need to learn to let go," right? So I kept repeating that. So it must have been very crucial. Okay. Then what happens next is she left the cave and approached a small lake. She pulled out three stones and tossed them across the water. Okay, and one of the stones hit a small rickety wooden boat, like a canoe. Uh, and that those rocks may created a hole in this boat and it began to sink. One of the other stones, you know, went down into the water and sunk and hit a treasure chest. Right, and the woman was guiding her and pushing her uh, to go into this body of water. Uh, it told her to become one with her emotions. So this is just packed with symbolism. I'm only going to go over a little bit for the sake of this video. Um, so, well, you know, going deep into the emotions, right? Um, 
right? Going deep into the emotions, there is this treasure to be found. Okay, symbolism of the boat of travel, traveling into the emotions, okay? So, highly, highly matches up with my insight that I was getting. Um, like, really highly matches up. It's kind of scary, because my insight, I had... Um, like a like a sunken ship underwater and this girl she she kept going you know diving down a little bit coming back up for air diving down a little bit coming back up for air diving down a little bit coming right back up for air till finally she accepted it and went all the way down to the bottom and started to swim near the bottom of the ocean floor and there she found you know a, sh a sunken ship and inside of that was a treasure chest okay so again there's huge huge motifs and symbolism of you know, connecting to the emotion, there is buried treasure, there is treasure to integrate the emotions, okay? And that's pretty much exactly what Cindy got as well, so that's just, that's just crazy to me, that's just like, oh my god. <laughs> so, next, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, so, oh yeah, so, she, so the lesson was for her to go down with the emotions, but not, not let them overwhelm her. To not allow the emotions to sink her, right? That's really good. That's really good. And then she was, let's see, then she's pulled out of the water and taken to a fire, uh, um, where where an old man that had been in a previous dream of hers met her, and he reached into her chest, and there was a glowing, bright green. And he literally ripped out her heart and threw it into the fire. Huh. And he took the green crystal he gave her and placed it into her chest and it started to glow brighter and brighter and brighter. And a little green snake wrapped around the crystal as it shed its skin. And then the old man placed a small mouse into the green light in my chest. And then the snake ate the mouse. So, huh. So, so basically, she was, you know, ripped out of the water, taken to this fire with this, this guide of some kind. And the guide was basically changing out her heart crystal, her heart chakra, right? It was changing it out, giving it an upgrade, a transformation. So, that's, that's really awesome. That's really awesome. Um, so, let me see here. There is one more. Okay, and for Joseph, he kept seeing a doorway, like a portal to other dimensions, and he felt like these were other worlds that were being presented to him. They felt neutral. Um, you know, these other worlds, and also the beings inside these worlds felt neutral and curious. Okay. And he felt like going into these different worlds was like he was falling down into them. And he's just seeing the mechanic of that's very interesting to him. Okay, yeah. And then he also did another scrying session uh, when he came over to Blossom Path, the, the shop here. And um, he did a scrying session where it was, you know, there's this ocean and then this mountain and this mountain reached up into the stars. And so what how he interpreted that was, you know, connection from the below, the subconscious, conscious and superconscious, right? Connecting the different parts of your being into one, okay? And although the correlation isn't direct, there is definitely a correlation to what I was getting um, near the end of my scrying session where we were in the air and it, you know, it flew over to that mountain in the beginning where it had the marketplace inside of it. Uh, There's that massive mountain that was connected to the spirit, right? So there is definitely a correlation between all these insights. And so I'm really excited to see you know, what happens for the people that you know, scryed or participated. I'm really excited to see what all transpires for them. So... Thank you so much for watching, and may you wake up to your magic.